what my crazy animate pack actually holds inside and how to install it to DaVinci Resolve after you've bought it. Go to DaVinci Resolve and then you want to go to the Fusion tab. And as you can see up here is Effects tab, so click it open. So under the templates there is Edit and then there is Effects. So right click it and there should appear a Show folder. Or you can go here to the three dots, click it and click Show folder. And now you want to drag your crazy animate package in the Effects folder. After it's there, you've successfully installed it. And you may have to restart the DaVinci Resolve, sometimes it doesn't work. So now I'll show you what this pack actually holds inside. So here I have a character and a background. So now under the effects, there should be crazy animate. And there is PNG animation and zoom. So PNG animation, it's all about animating PNGs. And zooms are zooms. So here, for example, is front width. So you want to take the effect and drag it to your character or any other PNG. And then when you select your character, here is the inspector tab and here is effects. So now the image does front flip and you can activate a motion blur from here. I recommend activating this motion blur when you're starting to render because this can be very intense. So here is bouncing and it bounces. Then here is this uh, stretch effect. So it stretches and then falls. Some nudges. You, when you want to animate your character in, go to the animate in, select for example down, here is the most basic uh, slide, but also bounce slide. And then uh, different variations with rotation, so how big the rotation is. Then when you want to animate the character out, first go where you want the characters to start animating out, select the blade tool, make a cut there. Then you want to select the clip you want to animate out, right click. New fusion clip. Now you want to get your animate out effect. For example, just right. And now it animates out. You can select motion blur if you want to. Then some transitions, which I've used. This is better with some different PNGs than characters, but you have this transition. And then if you're skilled enough, you can, for example, mask the background out so it changes. Then there is a zooms. To use zooms, you need from the effects, you want to drag a adjustment clip uh, and drag it on top of everything. So then go to the zooms. There is normal, normal zooms, shake zooms. So these are just no shake and these are with shake. So I'm going to go to normal zooms. I want a long zoom. So the duration of the keyframes are long. 1.3. It means that zoom goes from 1 to 1.3. So I can, for example, take long 1.3. And now it's a long zoom and it zooms to 1.3. Then some shake zooms. And now there is a shake with the zoom. You can also, of course, Use this in Fusion. Just select the character, right click it, open in Fusion page. Here in the effect tab to the effects, here you have all the effects. So you can, for example, drag the front flip here and use it in the Fusion. So now you know what this pack is about. You can check the package out from the description or from the comments below. See ya!